So with Pacquiao and Bradley announced today, I couldn't help but think about uh, HBO and all their big fights between 147 and 154. Floyd Mayweather has beaten them all, <laughs> at least the favorites, you know. Uh, and, you know, the, the irony of it is they call all their fights big fights, blockbuster fights, uh, fights of the year. If you go to Cotto Canelo, Floyd Mayweather won 11 rounds to one, and that one round is being generous against Canelo, uh, round one that would be, and uh, Cotto put up a hell of a fight. He made Floyd Mayweather go to plan C. Uh, Floyd Mayweather wanted to, uh, he turned it up the last four rounds, and he matched artillery with artillery, and he had definitely had more artillery in the Cotto fight. And you have Pacquiao, dominated Pacquiao, um, eight, four, nine, three, somewhere in there. And it goes to show you the lack of respect <laughs> that Floyd Mayweather gets. You know, um, I wouldn't say I've been the truest fan of Floyd Mayweather outside the ring. But inside the ring, Floyd Mayweather is a is a maestro. He's the best. Uh, I will always say he's the best fighter I've ever seen outside of Roy Jones Jr. in his prime. Because Roy just got knocked out a couple of weeks ago. But uh, and it's sad. The sad truth of it is, is as much praise as Jim Lampley, Roy Jones, and Harold Letterman and Max Kellerman give Canelo, Triple G, Cotto before he lost to um, uh, before he lost to uh, uh, Canelo and Pacquiao before he lost to uh, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather deserves ten times more. You know, if you look at these guys' records. They're sprinkled with the losses with the exception of Canelo. And Canelo has been protected for the first 35 fights of his career. We all know that. But Floyd, I'm looking at these fights on HBO for the next upcoming. I'm not downgrading them, but they're pretty mediocre. Their big fights is Pascal Kovalev. Mm, um, and you have... Uh, Timothy Bradley and Pacquiao, and they're going to build that Pacquiao fight up as big as it can be. They'll do a 24-7. I don't know if they have 24-7 or Showtime is 24-7. I think Showtime has it now, so they'll rename it. But however much praise they're going to give Pacquiao for this fight, he deserves 10 times more. However, how much praise they're going to give Canelo the following month for Cinco de Mayo weekend, Mayweather deserves 10 times more. So we just got to put that in perspective. And I may be slanted by talking about Floyd Mayweather. I just want to preface this so we're clear. Uh, he may be in my frontal, my frontal lobe because I'm, I've am i been editing the film all day and all I see is Sam Watson, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Brandon, Marcus, and Courtney and all these people. But I just want to be clear because it was announced today. And you got to give respect where respect is due. And... Um, he deserves it, and and racism in boxing exists, so I'm probably going to get a few comments saying, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm delusional. Floyd Mayweather's a woman beater. I'm not talking about what he's doing outside the ring, and I know it's hard to separate the two. It's damn near impossible for most people. But inside the ring, Floyd Mayweather retired 49-0, and and people say he's been ducking and dodging. <laughs> Pacquiao hasn't fought anyone since, uh, hasn't fought a real threat. I mean, like, a literal real threat since I can remember. You know, his last, let's go to his, although Floyd Mayweather is light years ahead of him, he's not a, Mayweather's not a threat to knock him out just because if Mayweather knows he's in the lead after round 10, uh, if he's up by three or four rounds after round 10, he's just going to stay on his feet. You know, um, if you need an example of that, Mickey Bay versus John Molina, you know, 
Hearns, Hearns versus Leonard. You know, if you up, all you want to do is stay up, right? You don't want to get hit. You can run around for a round or two. But um, it's just alarming. Floyd Mayweather retired 49-0. and 0, You know, and uh, but getting back to what I said about Pacquiao. Pacquiao really hasn't beat anyone. You know, he went from, I'm talking about that's a, that's a true threat. He went from Brandon Rios to Algeri or Algeri to Brandon Rios. Forgive me for not knowing the order. To Pac, I mean, to Mayweather, and now back to Timothy Bradley. Huh. So go figure. And I know he was knocked out by Marquez that last fight, but he was dominating Marquez. Marquez, that's the problem when you fight someone four times. They know your, um, they know your cadence. So Marquez was getting his ass beat, but he knows Pacquiao's cadence. So when you know someone's cadence, you know when and where they're going to be and approximately what time. And that right hand got there at the approximate right time. So, uh, but he was dominating Marquez in that fight. So if you look at the exception, if you take, if you e extrapolate that round, he really hasn't fought anyone of substance. He avoided Terrence Crawford in this fight. Um, some say he would have fought Pavotnikov if Algeri wouldn't have put on a hell of a performance for the last four rounds, eight rounds, excuse me. Uh, we'll never know that, but Pavotnikov is definitely a shot fighter now or just or on the cusp of just before a shot fighter. So I'll say that just to be safe. But it, it, it's time. Floyd Mayweather is 49-0. and 0. It's time for HBO and every other entity because let's be honest, PBC is very, has been mentioning Canelo, has been mentioning Golovkin, all these fighters about fighting other fighters. They've been really fair on their broadcast, and I'm not being biased. I'm just telling you exactly what I hear. Their announcers and broadcasters have not been shy about having respect for these fighters, about their fighters fighting the best fighters. Uh, they've mentioned Canelo several times. Um, so... But as we watch these fights in 2016, keep in mind, Floyd Mayweather retired 49-0. and And with that being said, every big fight that you've seen, that you will see probably for the next two years, Floyd Mayweather has probably beaten one of them guys. Or one of them guys. No one ducks Floyd Mayweather just because it's a big payday. And it's a huge payday to fight Floyd Mayweather, and he's not going to knock you out. So you're going to lose on points like an Olympic fighter. So it's it's definitely, um, and this is not a knock on Floyd Mayweather. It's just a reality of who he is in his late 30s. You know, he has bad hands, and he's just a perfect boxer. In this day and age, he's the most perfect boxer. You know, I'm going to hit you and not get hit. And if I throw one punch at a time, I'll outland you 13 to 3 in a round, 15 to 4. And that's just the reality of it. If you look at Danny Garcia, Robert Guerrero, <laughs> he's beating Robert Guerrero. You know, the next big welterweight fight that is on the calendar, uh, Pacquiao Bradley. If you look at that fight, he's beating Pacquiao. And he would have beaten Bradley, but the sad truth of it is, it's just, it just wasn't a marketable fight. You know, Tim Bradley don't, don't bring anyone to Las Vegas. Tim Bradley may bring people to the StubHub Center. You know, I was at the Vargas uh, Timothy Bradley fight. He probably had about anywhere between three to five hundred people. That was from Palm Desert because when he said Palm Desert in the in the uh, post fight, you saw people cheer up and stand and and and, and genuinely root for uh, Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley is a top five most likable guy in boxing, but he just doesn't have a uh, a fan base and if you look at the people that Floyd Mayweather has fought and has fought and <laughs> excuse me has fought on Cinco de Mayo and Mexican Independence Day one they had a draw and or two they had a nation behind them so it just makes all the sense in the world for uh, Floyd Mayweather not to choose Timothy Bradley he never ducked him because how can you duck a guy that's not gonna knock you out <laughs> you know, Brandon Rios was a shot fighter. You know, he's just a punching bag with a big personality, as I said in some of my in my videos before that fight. 
Do I like Brandon Rios? Yes. Do I enjoy interviewing him? Yes. However, spade is a spade. But uh, the premise of this video is Floyd Mayweather deserves the amount of respect at least what you're giving Manny Pacquiao. He deserves the respect at least what you give to uh, Canelo. He deserves the respect at least what you give to Cotto. He deserves the respect at least what you give to Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley has lost once. You know, some say he lost twice, but he's only lost once. You know, so everyone, if you've played sports from Pee Wee football to YMCA basketball, you've gotten away with some wins where you should have lost and, you know, you've lost some games you should have won. And it just so happens that uh, Floyd Mayweather got away with one early in his career against Castillo, if I'm not mistaken, the Latin guy, uh, about about seven years ago. He got away with one. Uh, Bradley got a, probably got away with one. With um, uh, I had that fight a draw. I had Bradley Pacquiao won a draw. And if you have to mute HBO to score that fight uh, as a draw, if not, you're going to get caught up with Jim Lampley. Pow! Combination by uh, Pacquiao when he wasn't even landing. So, but uh, Barbershop Conversations, again, I appreciate you guys' support. Um, videos will be coming. As you all know, I'm working on, I'm in post production on this film. Now, we're shooting for a release a miracle release before the Garcia Guerrero fight. Um, that will take divine intervention for that to happen. But the reason why we want to do it is because the boxing public will be in Los Angeles for that fight. And it will be a great marketing tool to push the, uh, to push the movie forward. So I'll keep you guys abreast how we're doing in post-production. And I appreciate you guys supporting the positive feedback you guys gave on the, I did an interview with Dante, and I really appreciate him reaching out to me. But um, it's exciting times. But the premise of this uh, video is Floyd Mayweather deserves at least the respect you give every fighter on HBO between 147 and 54. Because keep in mind, all these HBO fighters, they train you to like them. You know, it, it, they don't have no bad boys that they're marking. That's probably why they're suffering. They can't find a fight, you know. Uh, but... Um, let me know what you guys think. Am I being overzealous? Am I slightly biased because I'm looking at Floyd on my computer screen all day, every day, trying to edit, trying to edit this film? Or am I being accurate? You know, but I want to let that bias be. I want to let the information out so you guys don't think I'm I'm being biased. And then I'll just, you know, you got to let everything out so you so I can be fair. But barbershop conversations. I genuinely appreciate you guys' support. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Floyd Mayweather can't be that bad if he's beating Pacquiao, Canelo, and Cotto, the top three dogs at 147 for uh, and 154 for HBO. So barbershop conversations. I appreciate you guys' support, and uh, it just came to my head the top guys at 160 because <laughs> they got a once they fought at the, at the 160 limit. So just think, Floyd Mayweather has beaten. Canelo, who fights at 160, Cotto, who fights at 160, and Pacquiao, who fights anywhere between 142 and 147. So, uh, barbershop conversations. I appreciate you guys' support. And um, Floyd Mayweather deserves de deserves the boxing public respect, and he definitely deserves HBO respect. But he'll never get it because he's he's uh, cost HBO so much money by leaving. HBO for Showtime. I know they'll regret that, but they got Pacquiao. Pacquiao's a huge draw. So Barbershop Conversations. Appreciate you guys. Support. Peace.